Hi everyone, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your Daily Psychic Tip and Tarot. This is for Wednesday, August 4th, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. going to be a crazy busy day with some scattered energy around you. So, caution to slow down comes into play, but it's a day of getting things under control. And as you can see with today's tarot card of the Five of Wands, it's going to be some challenges. Like I said, it's going to be a busy day. Good news arrives with that Wheel of Fortune saying good luck and abundance and the wheel is finally turning to your favor in all areas. And we are going to end with the summer card from the fairies that everything you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime. And, you know, if you're out the country, summertime here runs up through September 20th. But this is the message for the day. If you guys are seeking a psychic reading, don't forget, it's JackieTomlin.com. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Hey, Gemini. Jackie Tomlin here. Thank you for joining me here for your extended reading. I mean, this is a great reading you've got going on. I want to continue this with any more messages we have from Spirit. Let's go as far with this as we possibly can. Okay, now let's start up here at the beginning where we started with that Ten of Wands energy with the Judgment card. And what you have going with that is the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords. Look at that. Can't make that up. Power couple right there before you. Libra Virgos may or may not resonate. With the power couple, it's you taking authority. It's you setting things straight. Um, remember I said that we have an, in the love life that you're ascending to another level as a couple. And if not, this is looking like a committed relationship. So this is kind of y'all making yourselves first priority. And I, I like that, to be honest. On the Three of Cups and the Empress, we have the Eight of Wands and the Three of Cups again. Celebration, celebration, celebration. Eight of Wands, total happiness, total contentment, love arrows flying around. <sighs> Gemini, I really think y'all are about to live together. Okay, I want to throw that out there. On the Nine of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, I have the Three of Wands again. And the Queen of Cups. This is your ship coming in. Queen of Cups says you're ready to open your heart. You're ready to give love. You are ready to receive love. This could also indicate a Scorpio type energy. And on that page of swords, I have that devil and the strength card with the ace of swords and the sun. So this is a new beginning in communication. And this could be with that shady person. I honestly think you're going to call them out on some deception or white lies or not telling you something. Okay? The sun shines brightly when you do because it brings in new opportunities. And in the center of your reading with that king of swords, we have that again with the seven of swords and that full card energy. We have the ace of cups. You beginning in love. Not only is there a new beginning in love, there's an unexpected offer of love. And I want to throw out a Pisces energy here that may or may not resonate for some of you. And on the lover's card comes the four of wands that happily ever after. The couple's card, the magician, y'all are sealing this deal. And the eight of cups, hallelujah. Okay, so the lover's four of wands comes with the magician. Highest card in the tarot deck. This says you get everything you want, everything you desire. It's right there on the table before you. You are finally closing the door on the past. There is something in the past you have finally realized, Gemini. Woo, it's taking a long time for some of you. That it's not worth the pain and suffering. You are turning your back. You are walking away from this. You are letting things go and moving forward with your life. Ten of Pentacles on the Six of Pentacles comes the Five of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Definitely, you've got the tens going on. Ten is the number. New beginnings, beginning stages of powerful new beginnings. You're anticipating the worst. Let that pessimist attitude go. I don't see anything bad coming here. There it is again, the happily ever after. Now, I want to throw this out there. A lot of times in my readings in regard to love, you will always hear me say you're looking for the four of wands or the ten of cups. You guys got them both in this spread. Just saying, you're strong in love. On that four of cups and the knight of pentacles comes a temperance card. 
Ace of Wands. Temperance is a Sagittarius energy. Major Arcana, it says you have finally recognized and embraced that when you do the same thing, you get the same result. So therefore, you're changing things up. You're doing so in a positive light with a positive outcome. Ace of Wands just says that new beginning is now. It's right now. For a lot of you, it's going to be in love. Three of Wands and the Two of Wands comes the Knight of Swords and the Hangman. Hmm. This indicates something that's rushing in. This shows me that you're feeling stuck. You're feeling that you're not moving forward and you're not moving backwards. There's no movement. Now, at the very, very beginning of this reading, I said on the first video, I had said something about low self-esteem or the fact that you're feeling lonely. This is actually telling you you're not stuck. It's asking you to be still. Two reasons it's asking you to be still. One, it's going to bring the clarity and the answers that you seek when you're still. Two, the love life just unfolds before you when you're still. And your bonus card, Seven of Wands. You know, I think that's the best energy in the deck. That's the you card. That means you've been putting the focus on you. You've been taking care of you, your priorities, getting things done for you. So that's kind of why you're reaping the rewards now. You know, the ship is coming in. You've got it twice. Twice here it says your ship's coming in. All right, Gemini, we're going to take my deck here, and I want any more messages Spirit can give me for Gemini for your week of August 9th. 2021. All right. What do we have here? Clarity and the dawning of a new day coming in on a major arcana. Commitment, vows, living together. I'm telling you, you're strong in love. Relationships forming, moving to another level. Forming, it's all coming into play. Taking back your power. This is one major arcana after the other. Scattered energy surrounds you. Yes, I agree with that. An Aquarius energy is here. A Gemini energy. Gemini appearing in Gemini. <laughs> You're stubborn. I need you to listen to me when I say let this energy go. Okay? You're stubborn. Everything you want is now within reach. Amen. Temporary separation. If you are separated from someone or something, the word here is temporary. New doors are opening for you. This is the magician in this deck. The yes answer. The, the, the one that says you get everything you want desire. So you've got one, two, three, four. Five major arcana sitting here of clarity, the dawning of the new day, commitment vows, living together, taking back your power. Everything you want is within reach and the magician saying you get everything you want and desire. Pretty powerful energy there for someone that is reading that is twice said your ship's coming in. Okay, so now spirit, how many romance angels from a Gemini's? Spirit says three. This is your week of August 9th, 2021. Okay, so. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Now, what did I just say with my deck? If you are separated from someone or something, the word is temporary. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. There is some commitment engagements coming up for some of you. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. When I see this angel, what I have found to be true is it means that it is a deep-seated spiritual connection. And I want to describe it as just that, Gemini. It's a connection, an actual connection. Soulmate, twin flame connection. Okay? So now I'm going to ask for Spirit to give us three of the love oracles for your week before we close this out what you need guys need to know all right first card up 
lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, transformation. It is lightning. Photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, and making new memories. Photograph. And then we have a boat. Hmm. Progression. Arriving, moving, or closure to issues. Boat. Some of you, for whatever reason, I'm kind of looking at that card and I'm thinking a boat ride or an actual boat could be in the mix of things, a physical boat. So that may resonate with some of you. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me here. Uh, don't forget JackieTomlin.com for psychic readings, and I'll see you soon. Bye.